Langara's Student Union has come under scrutiny the last few weeks as many questions still remain unanswered regarding incidents that occurred during LSU's elections last month. The controversy has prompted questions among students about what rights they have. In BC, nonprofit organizations such as student unions are known as societies. These are defined as independent democratic organizations that need to comply with the Societies Act, as well as their own constitution and bylaws. The Societies Act, it's a piece of legislation that has supreme rule over any bylaws created by a society. However, some critics say it still doesn't go far enough to ensure transparency within BC societies, such as student unions. In 2021, the Act was changed, largely as a result of complaints from students at Langara College and UBC. The intention of this change was to increase transparency and allow post-secondary students to oversee with more detail what's actually happening within the governing body that represents them. These changes gave students the right to view detailed financial reports and meeting minutes in order to better understand how their money is being spent and what decisions are being made on their behalf. While these changes helped increase transparency within student associations, they also leave room for what may be considered a loophole. This change still gives societies the freedom to adjust their bylaws and override this amendment, and in the case of LSU, their members' right to view detailed records. While most student unions like UBC's Alma Mater Society, Capilano Students' Union, the Emily Carr Society, and Vancouver Community College's SUVCC, among others, have not changed their bylaws to take advantage of this loophole, they also have their meeting minutes and agendas readily available online for students to see and members to attend board meetings. This lack of access is frustrating and confusing for many Langara students as they still don't have answers about what and how their money is being used. Freedom of Information journalist Stanley Trump wants to see the Societies Act included within Freedom of Information law. This would mean that students would have access to this information within the Constitution and it would be illegal to withhold it from student union members. Trump says students need to make more noise if they want to be heard. And if they want to see changes, they need to call upon their governing bodies. I'm voice reporter Emily Bass reporting live from Langara College.